All right, these are the notes for 1110. Uh, these are the current notes. We do two different types of problems in 1110. These are the current. Uh, these are going to be similar to the ones we did before, but I've changed the information I gave you. So we have a boat moves through the water at X kilometers per hour. It makes a journey 20 kilometers upstream against a current of three and then returns with the current. So the first thing is to write an expression for the total time for the round trip. I wrote here, remember, D equals RT, and the current is affecting the rate of the boat. So remember that it's not just one rate, it's actually two rates. So I'm going to encourage you to set it up as we did before. So you're going to do an out and a back calm, and you're going to have D, R, and T under each. Okay, so I'm going to probably show you a little more than I should each time. So I know the distance out was 20 and the distance back was 20. Okay. For the rates, if you focus here, I know I kind of have a lot going on. Focus right here. Um, X minus 3 because the boat was going against a current on the way out. X plus 3 on the way back because it returned with the current. Now, I wrote here, over here, if you look over here, D equals RT, you can also write that as T equals distance divided by rate. Um, just dividing both sides by R would get you T. So you can represent time by doing the distance divided by the rate. So over here, to get the time, I just put the distance over the rate, the distance over the rate. Total time is going to be how long it takes you to go back, out, plus how long it takes you to come back. So for the total time, all I had to do, and this is your answer right here, is total time equals, this is what represented the time out, plus this is the distance, the expression it was to represent the time back. All right. I think we're just going to delete this box now. Now for the next question, delete that box so you can see that. How long will the round trip take if the boat goes 10 kilometers per hour? So I'm going to take this expression right here and fill in what I know. So I know the distance divided by the rate. This time I know what x is. Okay, so I filled in 10 in place of x into this expression. I simplified 10 minus 3 was 7, 10 plus 3 was 13. I used my calculator to divide, and then I added and made sure I labeled. So your final answer would be 4.4 hours. For the next one, how fast must the boat travel through the water in order to complete the round trip in five hours? So total time again, this is from the previous slide, that the total time is distance divided by rate. So they told me the total time, sorry, I'm going to move that up a little bit. They told me the total time was five, so I filled that in, but I don't know the rate. So this is my equation. Now, this can be solved with what we learned in 11.8, where you multiply everything by the least common multiple of the denominator. So I multiplied the 5 by x minus 3x plus 3, the first fraction and the second, and then you'll remember things will cancel. Okay? So after they cancel... After they cancel, sorry, I'm here. Okay, so I'll go to here. Ignore the blue for right now. I multiplied the binomials. That's where the x squared minus 9 came from. This is what is left after I canceled. This is what I left after I canceled. Now I'm going to distribute. Okay, I distributed the 5. I distributed the 20. I'm going to combine my like terms. That got me to here. And then as I look at this equation, I see there's an x squared, which means it's quadratic. I need one of my methods for solving. So I made it equal 0 first. And now there are two ways you can solve this. In blue, if you wanted to use quadratic formula, I have that work here. I also have work, it's same answer, different method, over here. So in blue, if you did quadratic formula, you'll get 9 and negative 1, and here's the numbers. I, over here, what I did is I divided everything by 5 because it had a common factor of 5, and I used factoring, and I got 9 and negative 1. 
Now remember the question is how fast is the boat traveling? The boat's not going to travel a negative rate. So we're not going to use the negative. We're going to use only the positive. So the answer was 9 kilometers per hour. All right. In 512, if you look at your book at page 512 and look at number 3. Okay. So again, you'll set it up with the out and the back and the distance rate and time. So if you look there, and you can try these and then come back and see if you set it up correctly. I'll go piece by piece. So in part A, sorry again, in part A, I have the distance, I have the rate, and I have an expression for the time, which is the distance divided by the rate. I have that over here, distance, rate, and the distance divided by the rate. For total time, I have the time out, which is where this came from, plus the time back, which is right here. In part B, no, the y, X and Y, they're different this time. That's what the problem said. If you look back at the wording in the problem, it says that they were different. In part B, I just had to plug in 40 for X and 10 for Y. I simplified, I divided on my calculator, and I added. All right, and then you can go to part C. Again, part by part here, you can see. In part C, they gave me a total time. So bl in the blue, let's just delete this whole thing. In the blue is my original equation. Here's my total time is equal to my time out plus my time back. I multiplied everything, that's the green that you see, by the least common multiple of the denominators. Over here, I multiplied the two binomials. That's where this came from. Things canceled. Here's what I have left. Things canceled. Here's what I have left. In this step, I distributed. So that's what happened here. In this step, I combined my like terms. Over here, I subtracted 1,008 or 18,720 from both sides. In red, I divided both sides by negative 1.3. I square rooted both sides and 57.65 kilometers per hour is your answer. So that concludes, and again, you can push pause, you can go back to any part you need to look at again, but that concludes the notes for current.